Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is going to give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video, and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. Welcome to the chapter on logging and debugging SharePoint Framework solutions. While creating custom solutions, developers need to have a firm grasp on different debugging options and techniques. So this chapter will walk you through different debugging options available to client-side developers. And it's also gonna cover some of the logging options that you can take advantage of inside of your application. You will see some things that the SharePoint framework has to offer, as well as some things that you can take advantage of using common browser developer tools. Now in another chapter, I'll address some advanced telemetry and usage analysis, but following the approach from other chapters in this course, this one is just gonna focus on the fundamentals of logging and debugging. So let's get started.